Hello there. <clears throat> I'm Black Bright. I'm broadcasting out of the UK, around the world. And I'm going to talk about a very controversial subject based on the information I've gathered. And sorry, I was just eating a carrot cake. Based on the information I gathered and um, what I see happening here with Shamina Begum. Now, Shamima Begum was 15 when she and her two friends left Bethnal Green to go to Syria to marry two ISIS men. And um, Shamima has since said she's lost two children who've been, who's got killed. She's carrying her third child. She's 19 and she's nine months pregnant. So it's due any minute now. Now, one of the friends have died, I believe. She's not sure where the other one is, but she believes she's alive. Now, they're talking about, oh, she's a British citizen. Um, she has a right to come back. How does that work? After you've been deporting our, our, our people to Jamaica and Africa and all over the world based on their, um, based on their status or lack of status, stating that you know you have to you can't leave the country for more than six months and all of this 540 days you've got to do this and you've got to do this and all of these immigration laws that apply how come all of a sudden that doesn't apply to Shamima Begin? they're talking about when they're sending our people back that it's to do with safety to the country and you know um, protecting the country from terrorists and all that and yet they have a young woman here who has a known association and yet they are saying that they're willing to bring her over albeit that she'll face prosecution that is not the point all of a sudden the sympathetic has come out oh we can't have her being stateless the fact of the matter is the same thing applies to her, applies to everyone, or sh it should apply to everyone. If she's left, she's, she left the country when she was 15. She's now 19. She's been out of the country four years. She doesn't qualify. If she wants to come back, just like anybody else, she should be filing for an indefinite leave to remain to come back to the country. The child, if the child is, um, if the child comes over, um, Match if they manage to bring her over and the child is born in this country, it's still going to be stateless because the father is in prison in Syria. So how does that work? So she's talking about, oh, her child would be better over here, but her child's not going to be any better because it's not going to have no status. It's not going to have any nationality. Because according to the laws of the land in the UK, the father has to register the child. I mean, I think the people, this is where I, I get a bit peed off because on the one hand, they can use their discretion when it suits them. And on the other hand, they're hard lined. So people who'd committed a little weed offence or, you know, um, driving offence, even though they're, nat they're naturalised in the UK, they get deported. Those people who have exceeded 540 days or six months, they get deported. They're not allowed to come in and claim their British citizenship. But uh, a jihadi bride is allowed to come back and be a citizen just because her father doesn't know the rules and believes that because she's a citizen, she should be able to come back. And this is where this system depends on people not knowing the law and not knowing immigration law and not knowing people's rights because she's got no right, regardless of whether she was born in this country, to come back and rehabilitate herself. If they're bringing her back to prosecute her, to throw her in jail for 10 years, the same way she's got no compassion, she saw beheaded heads in bins and she says this with her own mouth, she wasn't phased by it. She wasn't phased by the devastation, not unless she's been so indoctrinated that you know, some people, when they believe that something is wrong, they have no empathy. Maybe she's reached that point. Apparently, 
um, when people were asking her, the reporters were asking her, how was married life? She said it was wonderful. It was great. They're only horrible to people who don't believe in what they believe. And then they'll torture them and do all sorts. But the fact of the matter is she's totally um, unfeeling to or has no empathy for any kind of devastation, it would appear. So all I'm saying is, is that, you know, it shouldn't be one rule for one. And I wonder what exceptional circumstances they're going to put in play, this little loophole that they create when it's convenient, because that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to find an exceptional circumstance to make her come over. What's that exceptional circumstance going to be? Considering she's gone over, met, you know, been with ISIS, has no regrets about going there and they're going to bring her back even though they have no obligation whatsoever to do so. So it's fine saying she's born in Britain. It doesn't count for squat anymore, according to the new um, British Nationality Law and the Immigration Act. So I'm going to see how they're going to try and work this one, because either they're going to do it just to create a fora and to create fear in people or to justify terrorist attacks down the line. And they'll say, oh, it was that girl. We, but we shouldn't have brought her over. We shouldn't have empathised with her. They must have a reason for wanting to bring her back because they have no obligation whatsoever. And I'm getting a bit concerned with their, their strategic tactics when the media is at play, hyping it all up, making it all look like, oh, yeah, you know, we've got to have some empathy and this and that. And the father said this and blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, they're telling you exactly what she's done. Them are easy enough. Anyway, that's my little two cents worth on Shamima Begum. She's a young woman. She could have made mistakes, but she doesn't admit to making mistakes. She doesn't admit to saying she did. She's never said that she did wrong or that she's regretted it. She's never said that. She's just said that, you know, now she wants to build a home, a, have a quiet life for her and her baby, probably because her old man's in jail. That's what she's saying. So um, I want to watch this one. I'm definitely going to watch this one. If you have any thoughts, let me know. I might be a bit harsh. But, you know, if you do know the law and they make one rule for one and another rule for others, and this one is a known person who's um, have associations threats to our peace and our security and yet they boot out our Jamaican brothers who hardly have any um, nothing near um, that kind of association nothing near it and I don't think it's fair anyway that's all for now I've said my two pence worth ciao for now